In this video, I will show you how I made a weapons muscle flash for my game in Giro. If you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's slide in. So I open up Giro. I have prepared a 3D model here and a texture. I'm gonna make this a 3D scene and drag in my model. I'm gonna zoom in on it a little bit. So I'm gonna hit the plus button and add a GPU particles 3D and hit create. Put it in a location that's at the end of the barrel something like that it's giving us a warning right now and that's because it's telling us to create a draw pass and a process material we will start with the draw pass open the draw pass up and on pass one hit the drop down arrow and make a quad mesh open the quad mesh up and on the material we can drag in our texture i will link to more textures from kenny in the description drag in your texture into the material and we can open up the material. We can open up the transparency and set the transparency to alpha. I'm gonna drag this whole inspector window out a little bit so it's easier to see. On the vertex color, set use as albedo. This will allow us to change the color later. And on albedo, we can set the color to yellow. Next, we can go down to billboard and set this to particle billboard. We can also set keep scale this will allow us to change the scale of the particle later and a nice bonus you can also enable proximity fade this will make it fade a little bit when it's close to other things we can make this something really low so 0.1 it's not the must but it's nice to have we can scroll up and we can close down the draw pass and on the process material we're gonna make a new particle process material and that will make it start falling we can open up the particle process material and here on the spawn and angle we want it to have a different angle all the time so the minimum we can set it to minus 720 the max it will go and same for the max set it to the max then we can go into accelerations and gravity and we can set the gravity on y to zero and next we can go into the display and on scale make a new curve texture and open up the curve and we can drag these points down to the bottom and we can decrease the max value to something like 0.4 we can drag them up again and this will match pretty well with the size of the model i have but you can change the size to fit with what you have we can close down the curve texture and open up the color curves set the color to set the color to something red orange ish and make a new color ramp open up the color ramp and open up the gradient. We can make a new point here in the middle. And the last point, we can select it and make the alpha zero. That will make them fade out at the end. We can close this down and make a emission curve, make a new curve texture, open it up and make a new curve for this as well. We can make the max value something like 25, make a new point and drag it up to the top. This is already looking really cool. And that's it for the process material. We can go up and go into the time and we can make this something shorter because a muscle flash is only shown for a really small amount of time. So 0.1 will do and we will set the amount to 1. It's very flashy now so I'm gonna increase the time to 1 again so it's not too distracting. I'm also gonna set the randomness to 1 because I like doing that. And on drawing we want to set local chords because if we were to animate the rifle it wouldn't move with it and now it does. So if I move it with the local chord checked, it will look fine. But if it's unchecked, it will only move when it's updated again. Enable use local chords. And right now it's looking a little bit odd from some directions. It's looking awesome for, from this direction and a little bit worse on this direction. And to fix that, we can go into the pass one and go into the material and set the shading mode to unshaded. And that will make it look awesome on every direction. And then you would want to set it to 0.1 and you would want it to be one shot. And then through your animation player, you would key the emitting. So 0.1 and emitting. And this is basically how you do it. So now I'm in my main project and I'm going to show everything here. So this is how I've done it. I have our animation here and I make it emitting, right? And then I have some smoke that comes out after the muscle flash and they emit a little bit and then they stop emitting at the end. I also add a spotlight and this is at the end of the barrel as well. It's not so noticeable right now but in a dark scenario it's very visible. I also animate the rifle to bump up a little bit and then bump down a little bit and I also change the rotation of the camera to bump up with the rifle. 
and down again. I think that gives a really nice effect. Then I have my sound effect, then I play, so that's the rifle fire, and I play this whenever I fire the gun. And it has an audio stream randomizer on it, with a random pitch of 1.2, so it doesn't sound the same every time you play it. If you're unsure how to make an animation like this, or something else, I would recommend looking for inspiration. But I recommend adding some smoke at the end and also adding a spotlight because you want it to shine a light to the area. Thanks for watching and special thanks to our Ko-Fi members for making this video possible. If you want to support our work and have your name be featured in future videos, check out our Ko-Fi in the description and we will see you in the next one.